Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I did promise you guys an update on Jeffa and everything. So I decided to add it into this video. So some sad news about Jeffa is um, after she ended up getting better, she also did get worse really quickly, suddenly. It was, it was weird. And then um, one morning I came to feed her and she was gone, so. So I'm letting the water go in like I usually do every time I do water changes. It's just going very, very slowly through this tube. And she's having another little phase of hers. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. Anyways, I did find her just dead there. She was floating. Took her out real quick, um, cleaned up the tank because for some reason all of her scales were everywhere. I don't know if the snails were messing with her or something. And all I have right now in there is the ivory mystery snail. It is getting bigger, growing, eating everything, all the algae and everything. So yeah, but I definitely do want to get some things for it today as you can tell by the title of the video i do want to get some neon tetras definitely some more plants because mine are like slowly dying any tips to keep plants alive please let me know i want to get more plants for more hides i do want to get some red cherry shrimp neon tetras for sure and then i don't know if i'll get anything else because obviously can't overstock this tank too much and then probably in the future i will definitely be getting another beta because i love those but for now on i'm just gonna have a little break even though it's been like forever since Jeffa passed away. I just never uploaded anything about it. We will be going to PetSmart later on today and I will definitely bring you guys along so you guys can see me pick out our new little creatures for the tank and I hope you guys stay tuned. much because I honestly forgot to um and there was like a lot of people in there but we just got neon tetras they didn't have any shrimp at all I was thinking of getting another snail but I didn't so what we got is five neon tetras um a plant and just some stuff for my filter so we're going to Petco right now and and I'm just gonna get another plant there because I want as many plants as I can my tank just you know plants are good so yeah bye okay guys i just came out of petco and all i grabbed was this little rock with this plant on it i just thought it was super cute from pet smart just this um java fern i'm gonna put it on the driftwood somewhere on the side yeah and then some media we got some treats for the good ones um yep and then another little plant from Pet smart. Petco. From Let's Petco. Go. Just got home. I'm going to be putting these to acclimate. They are so much more pale than they were first in the tank, obviously from stress and probably from my crazy driving. Out of the whole setup, um, nothing has really changed besides half my plants died. So yeah, um, I'm trying my best to not mess around with my plants because that's usually what triggers them to just decide to die. Um, like this one, I just left it alone and it's growing new little ones, so that's great. Alrighty guys, I put the Neon Tetras to acclimate. Um, it's gonna be about 20 minutes. I'm just gonna let them get used to the temperature of the water and everything and then we'll let them in and I will update you guys then. So this is the little rock with the plant on it I bought from Petco. You can see the roots grew really nicely on it, so. And it's like really nice, it's really big. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off in this dechlorinated water. Can you still see it? <laughs> Okay, 
so I rinsed off all the plants um, and I put them in. It is not cute, guys, but hey, it works. It's it's okay. Like this big one, I just it's one that you have to attach to driftwood, so it's kind of awkward placement, but that's the best where it stays on. Here is my snail that finally decided to wake up. I mean, I kind of had to move him because he was a little bit in the way, so I just like kind of picked him up and moved him, and I don't think he's happy about that. <laughs> But yeah, just about 10 more minutes and we will be releasing the neon fish into the tank. So it's finally time to let in the fish. So I'm obviously not gonna put any of this pet smart water in my tank because because it's not good water. Hopefully I'll get all five at once. Oh, holding with the hand. I got one, two, three, four, five. Nice. Okay, record the water in the So I just lit in the neon tetras. I turned off the lights so they can just get more acclimated to it. Um, I'll update you guys maybe in a couple hours and also maybe some footage from tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay guys, it is the next day. Um, the neon tetras are doing great. They already ate as well. So yeah, they got their color back. Which is awesome. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video of me getting five neon tetras for my fish tank. Do stay tuned because I do want to get shrimp in the future. Hopefully some like red cherry shrimp or something. Who knows? Maybe I'll even order them from online because we don't really have any in our pet stores for some reason. And you know, just to see how shipping live creatures through the mail goes. Maybe I'll make a video about that, but I'll definitely make a video about that, so be sure to stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! You're so creepy. Wait, no, that's not the ending. What a go away.